This is valve spring removal on a six liter LS. I've gotten two down, so I think I'm starting to figure it out. Step one, you're gonna to need to put something underneath where the chamber is, the combustion chamber, to push up on the valve, because it will wanna fall down. So this is just a, a magnetic tray that's got a plastic rubbery base. You don't wanna do something that'll scratch it up, the aluminum and the steel both. This is not my favorite tool. I, I, I used to use a bigger one, but I, I it's been so long, I don't know where to find them. I don't know what they're called. So, I oiled this up. It's brand new, so I oiled it up real well because there's a lot of tension on it. I didn't know what that was until I started doing it. This one will pick up one of the... So, there's a spiral. And as it spirals, it goes up. So, you're going to find out where those fit tight as close to the bottom as possible. All right, that feels like it's grabbing real well. So make sure it stays centered up on the spring. Actually, it's like a spring retainer, like a big fat washer, essentially. Now, this is the trick that I really wanted to show because I think it's doing it again. So I was cranking and cranking and cranking. And I was like, it's not moving at all. The valve is seized up on the retainer, so once you get a, a few decent cranks, I, that's probably actually enough. I'm going to tap the top of that retainer. There it goes. That gives me the slack that I need to reach in there with a magnet. Oh, maybe one or two cranks more. I'm squeezing this so it doesn't pop pop open. Okay, that's definitely enough. <laughs> well, it has been the last couple. Couple more cranks. <clears throat> that third time's a charm. It's a half circle. And now we're free. That's it. Take this off. Well, I'll just do it in real time. Twisting it counterclockwise. Well, I'm interested to see here. I had a thought, and this will confirm it or not. Okay. The last one, there was so much slack, there was still too much tension, so I had to hammer it out. When you back this thing out all the way, go a, cu a couple turns. Because when the spring uncompresses, that distance is going to be farther and it's going to be pretty tight. I don't think it's the end of the world, but it's just something I've just noticed. All right, pick this up, push the valve, and there we go. And it's ready to be serviced. All right, well, that's how you use this particular spring compressor. I think it's from Performance Tool from O'Reilly. It's $22.99-ish, 25 bucks or so.